we have seen plenty of features on the Steam Deck, many of which are very cool, such as OS level FSR. Given that it's a PC, you could feasibly do almost everything you ever wanted, but most of that is in the desktop UI. There are definitely features I want Valve to add in the Steam UI portion of the Steam Deck. You know, with the slick controller UI. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, and join my Discord server in the description below. As you may have noticed, I am now affiliated with the Steam Deck Discord. Links in the description below. Given that the Steam Deck isn't released yet, we don't really know all of the features that are out there. I don't know if any of these features I'm about to say are already a part of the Steam Deck, but I'm going to proceed. Number 10. The ability to customize and personalize the Steam UI. I trust that everyone's seen the UI at this point. You know what it could use? Some color options, some personality options, maybe even like a wallpaper in the back. I would like Valve to go even further and allow users to create their own custom skins for Steam UI, much like how you can create custom skins for Steam itself. If they aren't willing to let people create skins for the Steam UI itself, you know what they could do? They could sell some Steam Deck skins, like on the Steam Points store. How many Steam Points do you guys have? Have you ever used them before? It's a great feature for people that have stockpiled a bunch of Steam Points. And if you're buying a Steam Deck, you're about to get a couple hundred thousand more Steam Points. So yes, more customization, possibly even the ability to skin or buy themes off the Steam store. Number 9. Better Steam Library Sorting Features, including the ability to sort your Steam games by Steam Deck verification levels. So as you know, games are being rated left and right. Quite a few games are verified, but I would argue that most games are in fact in the playable range. I would really appreciate the feature to separate these in my library on the Steam Deck. You know what also be appreciated? The ability to do so on the desktop client as well. Maybe make it like a dynamic collection. I also want more granular organization options, such as the ability to organize games that I've beaten, games that I've 100%ed, games I've never touched, things like that. How would Steam know when a game ends? They could probably just mark one achievement as the achievement you get by beating the game. All in all, I want to see more library organization features. Number 8. Steam UI Browser Extensions so the Steam Deck is actually going to have two web browsers built in. The desktop mode has Firefox, but the Steam UI has its own Chromium-based browser that we're just going to call the Steam Browser. I want the Steam Browser to support extensions. Standard Chromium-based browsers have the ability to go to the Google Store for extensions. You know, extensions like Adblock and others. You could also feasibly install Augmented Steam on there if that were the case. Though I highly suspect Augmented Steam is the reason why we won't have extensions on the Steam browser. Number 7. The ability for you to download games on your PC and then transfer them to your Steam Deck formatted SD card. So the Steam Deck has a preferred SD format. EXT4 with case folding. Most Windows PCs cannot read EXT4 at least out of the box, I think Valve ought to, well, allow people to prepare an SD card ahead of launch. Valve could feasibly make it as an option on their desktop client, or better yet, Valve could give instructions to those brave enough to know how to format their SD card to EXT with case folding, like me. You know, just simple instructions, maybe even the folder structure of the SD card. Either way, I see a bunch of people clamoring for the ability to download games onto their PC and transfer it to an SD card that they can just put into their Steam Deck and play. Number 6. Better support for custom icons for Steam input. One of my biggest gripes for Steam input is the lack of custom icons and a lack of general use icons that I would consider to be pretty important as well. So you can actually set icons for options in like radial menus or touch menus, like depicted here. The issue is that there's not enough of these icons to make use of in most games. 
Most of these icons are just Half-Life icons, or CSGO icons even. Yes, on desktop Steam, you can install custom icons onto your client. This becomes an issue when you say, want to share your configuration with others in the community. Valve should make it so that if you download that controller configuration from the Steam controller configurator itself, it should also download those icons as well. I don't see these PNG files taking up very much space on your Steam Deck. Number 5. Other Steam input improvements. I'm going to be realistic. While I would like more controls from Steam input, what I would like Valve to do is to make the configurator more of a pleasant experience for all. For starters, I want the ability to copy-paste configurations, entire button configurations, activators, everything. This is more for the Steam input power user, the kind of person that wants to make nested radial menus or make crazy, crazy configurations. Another thing I want to see is the ability to see what mouse region my mouse region option would actually occupy. You have the ability to change the center of where the mouse region is as well as how big the mouse region itself is. The issue is that there's no visual representation of where it would be when you're configuring it. What this means is that it's literally trial and error trying to figure out where the mouse region is as you're configuring it and how big it needs to be. And there's plenty of other quality of life features that I could mention here, but I'm not going to for the sake of not bloating the video. If you've got any other suggestions, be sure to put them in the description below. Number 4. Using the Steam Deck as an external controller for PC. Yes, Valve stated that you can do this via remote play. I'm going to be quite frank with you. I'm about 99% certain that people didn't want to use it as remote play. People wanted to use it as like a controller that you just plug into your computer. Maybe a way to use it on your PC as a controller without using your precious battery up. You know, very simple things like that. That said, I think the demand for this kind of thing would wane if, you know, Valve made a Steam Controller 2? Maybe with deck controls? You know, while I'm at it, make a Steam Controller 2, Valve. The Steam Controller community is clamoring for a new Steam Controller. Before I continue with my top three features I want on the Steam Deck in the future, I just want to thank you guys for subscribing to me and liking my content and sharing with it because I have reached 1,500 subscribers. I started this YouTube channel as a small high schooler, just uploading things I thought were really funny and stuff. You know, memes, maybe even videos of you made Nikki. Ever play that game? You should. Anyways, I appreciate the support that you guys have given me, and I hope to continue making videos for you. Not just me, but hopefully the rest of the High Tech Low Life podcast crew as well. Hopefully you should be seeing them more often in videos. Number 3. Extended Family Sharing Currently, how family sharing works on the entire Steam platform is kind of iffy at best. Basically, you log on to whatever computer you want to share to with your main Steam account, and you designate it as an authorized computer that can make use of your library. Anyone that signs on to that computer with their own Steam account can play your Steam games. That doesn't sound too bad, right? The issue then becomes when it comes time for you to play your PC games on your PC, or Steam Deck in this case. It will give a 10 minute grace period before that automatically kicks out whoever is using your library. Furthermore, certain multiplayer games cannot be family shared due to, well, cheating issues, namely CSGO. This is one area that consoles I believe have the advantage over PC in general. How it works on say an Xbox or Playstation or Nintendo Switch is that one system is designated as the primary system and any others that you log into are designated secondary systems. Anyone can play your library on your designated primary system on their own account. And you can play your library on any secondary system so long as you're logged into your account. And here's the crazy part though. You both can use your library simultaneously. You could even play co-op together if you were so inclined to. I get that Valve don't want people to exploit this so that they can get free games on PC, but piracy is a service issue and honestly, Gaben said it himself. And this could be a service issue, so to speak. I would say loosen up the restrictions and I think you'll be good Valve, especially on a portable handheld like this. Number 2 
Yeah, I mentioned something about extensions for the Steam browser, but what I also want is extensions or plugins for the Steam UI itself. I want third-party non-Steam applications to be able to interface with this notifications tab, you know, like Spotify or Discord as displayed here. In this demonstration right here, you would be able to see your Discord calls. And in this area below, you would be able to see your Spotify. You'd be able to see what music is playing, you'd be able to skip, go back, shuffle, etc, etc. I think having this level of integration with your system would be amazing. And it'd be a lot better than having to go back and forth between desktop mode and your game just to manage your Spotify and Discord. And there's more than just Spotify and Discord, there's a bunch of other things that can hook onto this that would make it extremely useful. I think Valve should open up some sort of plugin system for any enterprising dev that wants to make use of it for, well, features. This one's a bit of an ambitious one, but I firmly believe Valve can do it if they were so inclined to. Number 1 This is something every handheld has had since the Nintendo DS and PSP. This is ad hoc. For those not in the know, or those who have never owned a DS, PSP, PS Vita, 3DS, or Nintendo Switch, the premise is simple. If you have two handhelds with the same game, you can actually connect to each other wirelessly. No routers, no mobile hotspots, nothing else required. Games would have to target this new feature, but I firmly believe that if this feature existed to begin with, there would be developers who would target it. There's also a couple of ways you could further amp this up. Remember Steam Remote Play Together? Imagine doing that over ad hoc, with no internet connectivity required, no hotspots required, no weird link cables required either. Just you, a friend, both of your switches, and one of you has a copy of a game you want to play locally. Anyways, I strongly believe this feature is a must-have. It's a killer feature for any portable system, even Nintendo, who's known for being decades behind on technology and online services, has ad hoc. I think Valve should take a page out of Nintendo's book. All in all, those are my top 10 software features I want in the future for my Steam Deck. It's to my understanding that all of these can be added via software updates in the future, so that you don't have to wait for a Steam Deck 2 for any of these features to come, if they come that is. If you've got any suggestions for Valve or anything that I may have missed that's a priority for you, be sure to comment down in the description below. 